Hi guys, I hope that you're all well. Um, I know it's been a while. All the videos that I've posted, in those videos I was in Madrid studying abroad, but then our friend coronavirus appeared and I had to flee the country. So if you want a story time about that, because that's really a story. I also have another story about how I almost got quarantined while in Spain. Um, yeah, that was fun. If you want to hear those stories, just comment down below. I'll be very happy to share those stories with you. Now I'm here. Now I'm safe. I'm, I haven't. I have no COVID. I am filming right now this video in English, but I also filmed it in Spanish. So if you want to check that out, you can go to the link card that's gonna be up here. I don't know which side. But Let's get on with the video. If you saw my haul, I showed you that I have bought the Kiko Milano Skin Trainer CC Blur Cream and Skin Trainer Youth Serum. And I've had them for a while now. I've been trying them for a while too. So I want to share my review with them. So I'm first going to start with the Skin Trainer Youth Generating Serum. I want to first read what the Kiko Milano website says that this product does and we'll talk about whether that's true or not. The Skin Trainer Juice Generating Serum is a serum that helps combat oxidative stress and leaves you with youthful looking revitalized skin at any age. It's a powerful formula rich in ingredients effectively combined to do the following. With the energy levels of both young and mature skin helping to impede the signs of aging, moisturize the skin according to its needs, provide a healthy looking complexion, and smooth and even out the skin through a gentle and continuous exfoliation. The texture is light, silky, and rapidly absorbed. Applying the serum is a delight thanks to its delicate scent. What of these claims are true and which are not? I don't think it exfoliates, at least for me. I don't see that happening. However, it does moisturize my skin very well. I have very oily skin, but it does not make my face overly greasy. I use this before my moisturizer in two ways. If, well, I use it either before my moisturizer or I combine it with my moisturizer. I do that when I'm lazy. And it does not make my face overly greasy. And it's very rapidly absorbed. My skin is more greasy in the morning than any other time. But with this, that hasn't happened. It has a glow from within type of look and it's very bright. And it has an even skin tone and I really like that. The scent, it is true. It has a very slight scent but it doesn't linger. It claims to be for all skin types, so if you have dry skin, I think this would be, this would be great for you. I'm just gonna demo it a little bit. It is a very light, though, very silky texture. It's basically already absorbed. The dropper that it has gives the perfect amount of serum for your whole face. Maybe if you have dry skin, you might want a little bit more, but it's not like you might need more to cover your whole face, you know. I would recommend this product. I would give it like a, I would say like 7 out of 10. Also, if it helps with wrinkles and that, I can't really tell you. Like, I don't really have wrinkles. I would say just give it a shot because it's really nice. And this product retails for $30. I would pay like 25 for it, but not 30. I don't remember. Since I got it in Europe, it was, I don't know, I don't remember how much it was. Next is the Skin Trainer CC Blur Cream. And let's look for what it claims to do. So the Skin Trainer CC Blur Cream retails for $22. I think that's pretty reasonable. Um, it comes in four shades. It's light, medium, neutral, and dark. I have it in medium. No, I mean neutral. This cream claims to be an optical corrector for perfect skin with a smooth, even complexion. 
It combines the CC Cream skin tone correcting properties with the blur's ab ability to minimize skin imperfections. In addition, special ingredients in Skin Trainer CC Blur capture the light, which is then reflected on the face for a radiant glow. The velvety texture is slightly colored. It says the skin looks smoother and the pores are less visible. The formula special powders help reduce shine. The signs of aging are concealed and the complexion quickly takes on a fresh and even looking appearance. Over time, the skin's hydration improves. It looks soft and toned, regaining its radiance. So what is true and what is not? I use this product underneath my makeup, not to make it last. It doesn't claim to make your makeup last. I just use it to perfect my skin. I have very huge pores. I feel like this and the Tatcha Skin Perfector thing. This and that it are the only things that minimize my pores. Right now, I've been having this makeup for a while now. And I've retouched the powder, but I feel like I, my pores are still tiny to compare it to what they are all the time. It also mattifies my skin very well. I don't feel like that effect lasts a lot of time but it does hold up a bit. Does it make your skin better and hydrate over time? I don't think so. I'm not sure if this would be great for people with dry skin. It doesn't dehydrate your skin. I don't feel like it takes away from that, um, but it is very matte. So I don't know how people with dry skin would feel about it and the texture super light super velvety and it's like a dry mousse it's great and lastly it does have a scent pretty strong you can feel you can smell it not in your face but like in your hand if you applied it to your hand first and then applied it to your face you can still smell it after a little while put a little bit on my skin and as you can see, it's so velvety smooth and it's already gone. It feels like a baby's butt. It's so soft. I would give this product for the purpose that I wanted, which is just to make my face matte and make my pores disappear, I would give it a 10 out of 10. I love it. It's one of the best things that I've found question is, would I repurchase? Um, CC Blur Cream. Definitely would repurchase. I really love this. It, it, it has, I like the, that it has a little bit of color. So like, it doesn't help with imperfections, but it does help with like a little bit of discoloration. I like that. Um, this serum. The only reason why I wouldn't repurchase it is because I would like to try something else. Like if I have the chance, if it's like on sale or something, I would. I would really appreciate it. It's not bad, like, if you're looking for great moisture, it's perfect. It's really great. I don't know, I just wouldn't go too out of my way to buy it, you know? That's how I feel about it. That was my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. I know it's kind of short. If you liked this video, please like comment and subscribe to this channel don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can get a notification every time that i post a new video um also don't forget to follow me on my social media i have my instagram and tiktok account linked down below i only have one video on tiktok but who knows i may get more into it so follow me there i hope you guys stay safe and are having a great day bye